the last few videos I made have been quite negative. Uh, and so I want to talk about something I, I have fond memories of. Something that I am I can actually speak fondly of rather than shitting on something for ten minutes. And I'm going to talk about a show that you might not know existed. I'm talking about Sonic Underground. So Sonic Underground was a Sonic the Hedgehog spinoff show where Sonic now had a brother and sister. And they were all royalty. And they were all split up at birth. And so they go on a quest to be re reunited with their mother. And they fight bad guys with music. If this sounds really goddamn weird, it's because it is. I watched this when I was quite young. And I, I, I remember it very fondly. It had a bunch of characters, you know, from other Sonic media. Like, Knuckles made an appearance. There was Dr. Robotnik, who was, of course, the main villain of the show. But it's set in a completely different universe. And they beat up enemies using magical music. The music was fun. And I enjoyed it a lot as a kid. But looking back now, it's harder to listen to. But only because it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think this falls into the ca same category as all the Crush 40 music from the Sonic games. Where they're good songs, but it's Sonic the Hedgehog. And you don't want to look like a fucking nerd. The show was made as a way to promote Sega's upcoming console, the Sega Dreamcast. I don't, I don't really get how this... Yeah, ooh, like that, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, maybe we'll take a little while to get, huh? It's supposed to, to fucking promote a console because it is the farthest thing from being a promotional piece of art. But whatever. It's, it's about Sonic, so it's, it's obviously promotion for a Sega console. The game's never had uh, this brother or sister, Sonya... Sonya or Manic in them and so it didn't make a lot of sense to me to have a universe where these characters exist to promote a game, a game console w that has a universe where they don't exist. So it was set in Mobius and I'm not sure if it was like part of the same planet as the rest of the Sonic series or if this is a different planet. Uh, fucking maybe Mobius is a country. Maybe it's just the city. Who knows? I don't really care that's a different universe. It actually made for a lot of fun and it gave some somewhat of a different a, 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 a barrier between the games and the show and I and I like that. I just find it really weird that there is a universe where Sonic the Hedgehog and his siblings fight fight villains with magical instruments. I wrote here that it's very bonkers to me. I just wanted to point out that I used the word bonkers in the script. I thought that would be a fun fact. The show ran for about 40 episodes, but we never got a conclusion to the series. The last episode was uh, was about Sonic and his brother being addicted to video games. We don't know what happened to Queen Alana. That's their mom. We... Don't know what happened to Mobius, and they never beat Dr. Robotnik. And this show didn't sit well with a lot of viewers. The main reason being the changes from the games to the to the show. And another one was that the plot was just too complicated for some people. I don't get that, because it was pretty simplistic, and I got it when I was a child. The only positive thing that, pe that most everyone agrees on is that the music was catchy. So, these days, we don't see anything about this universe. But what if I told you that this universe did actually still exist in the Sonic canon? The Archie Sonic the Hedgehog comic did a crossover event with the Sonic Underground universe where Sonic A, well that's like the main one, teamed up with the Sonic Underground crew, Sonic B and his siblings, to beat up Dr. Robotnik. And apparently there was a plan to have an issue... Uh, that was like an epilogue where the story came to a to a conclusion, but it was put on on uh, But it was put on hold because they chose to do a story about Metal Sonic instead And I guess with how long it's been I guess with how long it's been not a lot of people care about the the story anymore And they want to move on and tell new stories Archie isn't even doing the Sonic the Hedgehog comics anymore. The copyright was up or something They didn't renew and now IDW owns the owns the rights to it and they see they, they're still doing Sonic comics but it seems even more unlikely that we're gonna see a 
Sonic Underground comic epilogue. Anyways, if you enjoy this video, please give me a good old thumbing. I have a couple of more videos coming soon. And if you want to, you can check out my last video. That was a pretty good one. I looked at Suicide Squad. And I'll see you next time. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. Take on me on.